Hi, my name is Lauren O'Connell and my videos help you stylize your perfect skincare wardrobe. And today we are going to talk about skincare habits to bring with us into 2021, as well as some powerful mindset shifts that have literally <laughs> changed my life. I can't even tell you what a difference it's made in my perception, my perspective, and my outlook on my life and the world. So what better time than now starting a new year and feeling like we just got through 2020. So I want to start off by saying that I'm just going to keep rolling with this. I have tried to start this video five times now and it keeps getting windy and then it dies down, then it gets windy and my hair is just going in my face and if it happens, it happens. I'm just going to keep talking. So skin hair, skincare habits for 2021. And I have a few that I think are really important to sort of consider and to just bring into your life. If you're watching this video, I'm sure you're already at least halfway there. And what I want to start off with is the power and the importance of moisturizing your skin. Now you might think, oh, I already do that. I throw on some moisturizer in the morning and some in the evening. I'm good. But the question is, are you good? Because with moisturizing, there's moisturizing sort of a, a header. And then there's three subcategories. There is the humectants, which are water binding ingredients that are going to plump up the skin, keep the high, skin hydrated within. Then there are the occlusives. Occlusives are ingredients like shea butter that form a film on the skin and they don't let the water dissipate. They don't let the water leave your skin. So the skin stays hydrated, which is means it will then be moisturized. And there's also emollients. Emollients are like glycerin and they're important for helping to smooth out the fine lines and wrinkles and to keep the skin hydrated as well. You need to have a good amount of these three, of these three categories of ingredients within these three categories in your skincare products. So I will be, of course, talking much more about this as the year goes on. This is an ingredients based channel. It's my passion. And so if you're here, just make sure you're subscribed and you're in the right place to talk about the ingredients a little bit more. I think the antioxidants are just so important. When I started using antioxidants in my skincare routine, I promise you, I felt like I was aging backwards. I feel like right now at age 38, my skin looks better than it did when I was 28. And I do genetically, I have nice skin. I have dry skin. So my issue in life has always been combating the fine lines and wrinkles that keep trying to emerge. It wasn't necessarily about the blemishes, although I have had those too, but the antioxidants have completely transformed me. And I have no Botox. I don't have any fillers. There's no edits on this video. I don't even have my ring light on. I'm just filming on my iPhone outside. So you can see my forehead is smooth and I'm not saying that in a conceited little type of way. It's just, I have a smooth forehead. This is right here, thanks to vitamin A, which is retinol, vitamin C, which is vitamin C. And it's very skin brightening and both retinol and vitamin C help to really keep that collagen going to keep the skin firm and vitamin E, which is skin smoothing. So I, when I, you know, if I go like this, yeah, you'll see, of course I'm going to have, you know, marks and, or I'll have whatever you want to call that. But at the same time, when my forehead is just neutral, which it usually is, it's very, very smooth. So I want you to achieve your best skin too. I'm still trying to achieve my best skin. There is no best skin. It's just how you want your skin to look, what your goal is. And that's what really this channel is all about. And it's about aging gracefully. I've decided to kind of scale back the anti-aging and look at it more as an aging gracefully, because as far as I'm concerned, it is a an absolute privilege to be 38 years old. How many people wish that they had made it to 38? So I don't want to anti-age, that's not my point. I like being 38 and I like, I love who I am. So for me, it's just about aging gracefully and you know, always having the gratitude that I am where I am in life. So another thing I want to talk about before getting into sort of more of the mindset shifts is consistency. Consistency is so important. You can buy every single lotion, potion, 
device, whatever you want. You can buy it all. But if you're not being consistent with it, you're not going to get the results that you want to achieve. So you have to be consistent and that's a discipline thing. You have to be disciplined about it. And that, you know, means it's a time. It's a, it's, it takes time. So you have to budget that time into your day. And if you're working full time, if you're working full time and you're also a parent or you have whatever going on in your life, you have to make the time for it. And so you have to really, decide it's important to you. And for me, I made that decision a long time ago. My mom actually made that decision for me because I come from a family of people with the most gorgeous, golden, golden, glowing, tan skin. And then there was me. <laughs> so my parents knew that they really had to kind of focus on my skin. They were both a bit shocked, I think, to have a child as white as I am. And, um, you know, my mom drilled it in my head from a very early age, the importance of skincare and sun protection, which of course is another thing that you must do in 2021. If you're going to do anything, wear your SPF, a minimum SPF 30, and you should in theory be applying it, reapplying it every two hours. So that too, and double cleansing. I will have videos on all of these things, double cleansing every night. You got to use an oil first and then a cream based moisture uh, I'm sorry cleanser and that's how you're really going to get off all the gunk that has gotten on your skin throughout the day in addition to the makeup or whatever other skincare you're wearing through the day so all of these things are going to help give you your best skin and they're also going to they're great habits to bring into 2021 now the one that I'm actually really excited to talk about though is treating your skin as your best friend. So imagine if your one of your friends calls you, your sister, somebody, and they're saying to you, oh my gosh, I hate the way I look, I hate my skin, I hate myself, blah, 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 I'm in such a slump. What would your natural reaction to be? It would be to talk to the person and be like, hey, come on, you have so much going for you, and you start listing it out. and. My question to you is, how often do you do that to yourself? And if your answer is not enough, never, not as much as it should be, that is a powerful, powerful mindset shift. So it's not only treating your skin as your best friend, but it's treating yourself as your best friend. You should be your own best friend. I mean, you're going through life with you and why not just shift it and be your own best friend and talk to yourself in a way that is just my son is downstairs talking to me he's going bike riding with his friends but you know talking to yourself in the way that you would talk to your best friend to cheer your best friend up when she's upset about something do that to yourself you know I used to have so much negative self-talk I would say the worst things to myself and I believe them and I'm sure it's an age thing as I'm getting older things change but I kind of went through a big awakening a few years ago into just sort of my life the meaning and so much more but one of the things that really came out of it was you know to, for me to say you know I'm in this body I'm having this experience and why don't I just enjoy it and you know why don't I just love myself and treat myself like my best friend and I can say now oh my gosh I just I'm I'm very happy with my life and I'm very happy with myself and it doesn't even matter where exactly I am because physically because it's all inside here and it really is just treating yourself like your best friend being your own best friend and you know what treat your skin as your best friend too. take care of your skin you don't need to buy every expensive product out there on my channel I've shown you so many products that are so more on the budget friendly side that work just as well if not better than the high-end things it's just taking the time to do the research to know your ingredients to know what you need and to give it to your skin and what's better than that so this is a uh, a video that kind of went off on a bit of a tangent but at the same time it's very real and it's where I am right now in my life and I would be delighted if you came to that point yourself too because I think at the end of the day 
that's really what it's all about what life is all about and really what my channel is all about so you're on this journey here with me <laughs> and this channel is evolving oh my gosh you know I have to say when I first started it I was like a I was so rigid in front of the camera and I had a whole thing listed out of everything I wanted to talk about and say and I can't even watch those videos now they're still up but oh mortifying but you know what I did it I stuck with it I kept going and I'm really good with constructive criticism and I mean criticism in general I always look for like the learning the teachings in it and so I would just get these little nuggets from here 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 of suggestions on what to do how to do it better things to do being yourself in camera and now I've gotten myself to a place where I could talk about self-love in front of the camera and just kind of babble for 10 minutes so anyways let me know what your skincare habits you want to bring into 2021 are did I forget anything that you think of maybe anything just put in the comments down below I'm sure someone will read it and it'll help somebody out and in the meantime why don't you check out my morning skincare routine that video is right here I'll see you over there